everyone, it's Kira here, and I'm going to explain the different factions in Skyrim, and how you join them. I just started a new character for you all, so everything you see in this video is fresh. The first two factions you're going to run into are the Imperials and the Stormcloaks. The whole storyline of Skyrim at the moment is based around these two factions, which are at war with each other. The Imperials are the ones who are trying to take control of Skyrim and make it an Imperial nation. At the start of the game, these are the ones who are taking you to your execution. The Stormcloaks are the ones who follow the Jarl, the H Jarl <laughs> Ooh, excuse me, who've killed the High King, and they are the ones being executed in the beginning of the game. They want to kick the Imperials out of Skyrim. After the dragon attacks, a man from each of these factions will run off in different directions. One is a Stormcloak trying to escape the city, and the other is an Imperial trying to defend it. It doesn't really matter who you follow in the beginning, until they both meet up at different doors of the keep. They will exchange insults and each enter a different door of the keep. Who you follow at this point will make a choice of who you follow later on. Now, this choice isn't permanent at this stage of the game, but after leaving the dungeon, the man you followed will tell you that you need to join up with their faction. If you want to change your mind, find someone of the opposite faction and get them to offer you the same. Then go to the main city and speak with the Jarl to join. The next faction you'll encounter are the Companions. This is like the Fighters Guild for Skyrim. You will find them fighting a giant outside of Whiterun during your first visit to the Whiterun outskirts, or if you miss your chance then, like I did, you can join up with them at their guild hall near Dragon's Reach in Whiterun. After entering Yervaskir, Yervaskir? Wow, I can't pronounce that at all. You will find Codlac and Vilkus. Wow, these names. Talking in Codlac's room. Speak with Codlac, and he will want to test your skills in battle against Vilkus. Follow Vilkus, whack him a few times with your sword, and you're in. And that's all there is to it. The faction for mages in Skyrim is called the College of Winterhold. It seriously is a college with dorms, classes, and of course, magic. You can receive the starter quest for the College of Winterhold from the trader in Riverwood by asking him what spells he sells. From there, take a carriage to Winterhold from Whiterun and run to the far end of the city. You should hear a couple fighting and be stopped by a woman standing at the front of the bridge. She informs you that the way on is dangerous and she will only let you pass if you perform a fireball spell targeted at the symbol at her feet. If you don't already have the spell, you can purchase it from her for 30 gold. That's a bargain considering what the others are selling it for. After you cast the spell, she will congratulate you on your performance and allow you to enter. Speak to the woman behind the fountain just inside the college and join up. She should be arguing with an older man. For those who love the Thieves Guild, they'll love, well, the Thieves Guild. They didn't really get a new cool name in Skyrim. The Thieves Guild is based in the sewers in the town of Riften, so that's where you should take your next carriage ride if you're looking to join them. Once inside Riften, head to the marketplace. If it's nighttime, be sure to wait a few hours until the sun comes up to find the man you're looking for. His name is unpronounceable, so I won't even try. But he will approach you and state that you look like you have light pockets. Pockets that could s use some filling, possibly with gold. After a bit of dialogue, he'll ask you to steal a ring from a locked box in one of the market stalls while he's causing a distraction, and plant it on a dark elf. It's easy enough, and once you're done, he'll point you in the direction of the sewers. If you can make it to their underground hangout, you can join their gang of thieves. Easy enough. Just look out for all the bums and mercenaries that like to hang out in the tunnels in between Riften and the Ratways. Now the faction I know everyone is curious about, the Dark Brotherhood. Honestly, this one gave me a slight bit of trouble as I basically eliminated all the major cities of beggars as I tried to figure out how to join. I was surprised to figure out it was simpler than I thought. Take a carriage ride to Windhelm and listen in to the townspeople. Within minutes, you should pick up a rumor about a child named Arantino, who's trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood. Find him inside his house and accept his contract to kill a mean old woman in an orphanage. This may seem cruel, but after you find the orphanage in Riften, you'll overhear the old woman talking of beatings and how the children will never get adopted. Bitch! She's pretty easy to kill. An arrow to the face should do the trick, and afterwards all the children will cheer and thank you for it. Don't worry about the other woman in the room. She knows how to keep her mouth shut and won't write you out to the guards. 
after the death of the old woman, returned to Arentino to receive his family heirloom and a lifetime of thanks, wait a day or two, and then sleep in the inn to be visited by a silent spectator. No, it's not Lucien Lachance, but she does have a little task for you to complete in order to be welcomed into the family. Three people sit tied in the room behind you. One of them has a contract on their head, and she wants you to talk to them and figure out who it is, then kill them. Honestly, I wasn't going to take any chances, and after all three lie dead, the mysterious woman gave me directions to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctum and these words to answer the doorkeeper. What is the music of life? Silence, my brother. And those are the factions I know of so far. There are also factions within factions, such as the Circle, or the Elite of the Companions, but I will get into that in a later video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out my channel for more videos on everything from werewolves to marriage. See you next time!